What happened to the unpopular or bullied girl after high school? She committed suicide after struggling with mental health issues nearly her whole life. Wish that I had had the courage to reach out and talk to her, rather than just ignore her and stay in my own isolated bubble. I don't know if it would have changed anything, but it would have been nice to have known her a little better than just as the girl that was always pretty odd and alone and now gone forever. He ended up being valedictorian as well. She was incredibly smart but nobody really knew that. A girl in my year was bullied relentlessly for being odd. Unfortunately, she had a very unstable home life and her mother suffered from fairly severe mental health issues. They had a very explosive relationship. One day during class she just couldn't suppress her feelings anymore. So she took a pair of scissors out of her bag and proceeded to cut off all of her hair, right there at her desk. That was 8 years ago. To this day, she still lives at home with her mother and does some sort of art course at the local college. Things don't always get better for people when high school ends, but I hope she is doing okay. The last I heard she was living on the streets. We've actually tried to track her down a few times over the years but she appears to have disappeared. I truly hope she is doing better now. She was a really sweet girl. Other buttholes kids would bully her for her weight not realizing she came from an abusive foster home. She loved animals so much, like, furry level except furries weren't a thing back then. She raises and trains bald eagles now and is a complete, total bad butt. She married a lovely, caring man. She worked for a number of years as a computer programmer. They traveled the world, bought a house, had a child who is now a wonderful young man. She now is a published author. I am so glad we became friends in junior high. She inspires me. This is the sweetest it makes me happy to read it. She was bullied because she always smelled awful, her dirty clothes and greasy hair, and every time head lice was spread at the school everyone would accuse her of being the culprit. She dropped out and got married, got pregnant, but got harassed online for being a teen mum. Then everyone found out that the reason she was always so dirty is because her mother was in prison for child abuse. She didn't know who her dad was and her aunt who had sole custody, made her sleep on the floor with 14 dogs and didn't let her shower. People felt really bad and tried to reach out but she told them all to frick right off. She's really happy with her new family and looks like she's being the best mum. Got a job, supportive husband and a house of their own. It's sad she couldn't continue with her education because she was so incredibly smart. We went to a really prestigious school and she outperformed everyone, but ended up leaving without any qualifications. Good, people who bully like that deserve the shame and guilt of it. She dropped out and killed one of her bullies. There's always a bigger fish. I'm fine, outwardly, married to a wonderful man with two brilliant, beautiful children. Career I can work on in placeholder fashion while the kids are young but great potential for future developments. Internally I'm riddled with self-doubt, anxiety and depression, always trying to please people. Surprised that people seem to like me and any time I see people talking in low tones to each other, my knee-jerk reaction is to think they're talking crap about me. I'm 37. Bullying leaves deep, deep scars. I have that reaction too when people talk without me being able to hear or understand. I don't think I was bullied much but did have some issues growing up. Hope you get over yours. She's my little sister and she has a master's degree from a prestigious European college. Her dream job as a book editor for Random House, expertly dyed rainbow hair and can do a better cat eye than any professional makeup artist. High school ain't crap. I love how proud you are. I was the unpopular girl, never really fit in, had a rep for being weird, but got good grades. Never really understood what made me weird, until college got difficult. Eventually went to get checked out because it seemed like my brain was always a bit off. Got diagnosed with autism, age 21, and it explains a lot. It was just harder to see because of my gender. ASD is underdiagnosed in girls, and because I was an overachiever at school, at the cost of having little ability to make friends and a lot of ability to alienate everyone in every school I'd been to. The girls, if you think something's up, get checked out. If I'd been diagnosed earlier, 
It might have helped people understand I wasn't just a batty old weirdo, and maybe, my schools would have helped me, heck, my parents might have understood me better, and not just told me to get over it. It also just helps a lot, knowing it's not your fault, it's made me a happier person. I'm a girl and have had a strong feeling I have Asperger's or similar. For years now, I had an evaluation done, and they said I had no sign of it at all. But one of the reasons why that they gave me was because I didn't have any ticks or hand flapping. I don't know. I was disappointed and honestly still feel I am somewhere on the spectrum. At the 10 year reunion, she was elegant is the first thing that comes to mind. Pretty yes, hot yes, but her elegance stood out for me. One committed suicide later in her 20s. I think that had more to do with her screwed up family than the bullying. The other is an amazing pharmaceutical scientist. I'm FB friends with her. She's still quirky, odd and not outwardly attractive. But she is happy and living her best life. Never married, though. Has been in a very long serious relationship and not sure why that ended. Continues to be very happy, though. Formerly bullied perpetually single pharmaceutical chemist here. Give your friend a high five for me please. She lost a lot of weight stopped dressing emo, and became very attractive. She's got a good sense of humor and pokes fun of herself posting old pictures on FB for fun. That's the perfect response. First learn to improve yourself, then learn to love yourself, and finally learn to laugh at yourself. That was me, yay. Having a very sick mom with basically no income and messed up teeth meant I got bullied all of the time. I struggled with suicidal thoughts attempts, went to therapy, and figured out that I needed to get the frick away from that area to sort myself out. I went off very far away to college, graduated with my feet on the ground, found a job I love and am good at, and married the most amazing guy, oddly my crush throughout school from back home. We have a loving, middle class life and home, and I've managed to get better looking since I got clear braces and stayed in shape. I had to do was leave to realize that their little hate bubble was all they'd ever have. She was bullied due to her crazy hair dye and unusual clothes. She went to beauty school, worked at a local beauty parlor for a couple of years, then opened her own place, then opened a couple more, then she married a banker and had a couple of kids and a grand house overlooking a lake. Funny how life works sometimes. I haven't seen her in years. She was technically popular, but the tides turned and she wasn't liked anymore. Last I saw, she had gained weight but in a healthier way. She recognized me, but I didn't at first. Seems to have calmed down and that's good. I am happy for her. There was an Irish girl who moved here who was bullied and killed herself and it led to a lot of anti-bullying programs in the state. One of the things I heard from folks in the town was that back in Ireland she was one of the popular girls who was a big bully and that the tables turning was what made it so hard that she opted for suicide. Being the kid who was unpopular and bullied, I can tell you my personal experience. In high school I was severely bullied about being short, skinny and had some disabilities. So I was beaten up a lot. I was bullied both by students and teachers. Teachers told me that I could not get it to college. Said I was stupid, etc. Now I am a freelance graphic designer and artist who owns a business. DB Art and Design. Making a graphic novel series with a fan base. I also have a high paying job and two college degrees. I also am a fit strong person who does the tough mudder when I'm not working. It may not be the coolest story but I thought you might like it. Sounds pretty dang cool to me. She got proposed to at the place she always wanted. By me. I guess to an extent I understood why other people bullied her. But I don't think it's right. She's a wonderful and passionate person. Bullying someone because they're passionate about different things than you is absurd. I was the bullied one. Went through university battling depression, but made it in the end. Left the country. Finally found a job after a long search. Got bullied again by my boss, but eventually found a better job through building a good reputation and got promoted. Afterwards still some more struggle at work and an abusive relationship that I successfully left. Now I'm very happy. I have a stable job, a great apartment, an amazing boyfriend, and wonderful friends. Life truly gets better if you stand up again and again. You'll get stronger every time. She is doing amazing. 
I recently got back in touch with her and she is currently working on her doctorate in piano. She sent me a video of her playing. Ro. I refused to be in the yearbook. Changed my name. Cut off my hair. Changed every aspect of my appearance and personality. Nuked my social media and I'm hoping that in 20 years they'll have either forgotten I existed or assume I died. I was a bullied girl. They bullied me to suicide attempts. After school I had a great time as a traveling musician. Met my very intelligent and attractive husband. Got married. Purchased a house. Got a dog. Regularly travel and spend time in the great outdoors. And now we're expecting our first child. The two worst bullies both have 3 plus kids with all different dads, one still lives with her parents, the other tends to cling on to different dudes and suck them dry till they kick her and her kids out. I ran into one of them at a wedding we had mutual connection to. She had clearly abandoned all self care, smelled bad, and was drinking heavily. I'm not even mad at myself for feeling so smug as I sat there with my husband and said I guess you peaked in high school I deserve that after what she did to me. I upvoted purely for what you did at the wedding. That's truly beautiful. One has a life that's one disaster after another with illness and injury. One transition to male and it all made sense. Now he's super popular and successful. Eating disorders. Toxic relationships. Early pregnancies. Crap jobs. Depression. Anxiety. Substance abuse. Occasionally the will to stand up and say nope not me not anymore. And the hope and prayer that someone somewhere will help you. Because in reality it's not worth cutting every other human out of your life because you're bitter and want to prove you're strong. But you gotta be selective and spend a lot more time alone and depending on yourself. And stop confiding in people before you truly know them. Or maybe that's all just me. Currently in the hope and pray stage. Speaking as the unpopular bullied girl. You get a good job and achieve more and earn more than your bullies but the damage their bullying did leaves you with crippling depression that even therapy has trouble dealing with so you are unable to enjoy anything you accomplish and praise feels hollow due to you feeling so used to being undermined. Yikes, it's me. Well, there's multiple. One dropped out and had a kid with a 35 year old. One got a good job and appears to make bank and seems super happy with her life. Really depends on the reason why they were unpopular, I guess. I'm doing quite well married, live in a great house, have a job I still like after 20 years there, and my kid is kind of awesome. Suck it, Paul I still hate you and would dance on your grave. That escalated quickly, but good on you. Killed herself. For all you bullies out there, know this. Your torment doesn't end on graduation day. It lingers, like a scar. Some people hold that burden for a long time until they finally just can't anymore and at that moment I want you to know that that person's death was seeded many years prior, by you. So if you're a bully, frick you. <laughs> Suffering CPTSD for her childhood torments and dysfunctional family home dynamics. She's currently married, raising two small kids, and gainfully employed while trying to stave off her mental breakdown. Therapy and love have kept her toes back from the ledge. She married someone. They had a daughter together. Everything was looking up for her. However she was involved in a very bad car accident where neither her husband nor their daughter survived. She ended up in a coma for a bit and when she woke up to find out the news she made enough recovery to the point she was able to commit suicide. Oh. I was the bullied girl. Long story short most of my bullies are either single mothers with 3 plus kids, in very bad relationships, jail, work jobs where they are clearly not happy, dead. I, however, work in a hospital, married and enjoying a simple life. It's pretty amusing seeing my old bullies turn pale as a ghost when they see me in the street or better yet at my job. For those that are getting bullied my biggest advice is to focus on you and what makes you happy. Sometimes your success and personal happiness is the best frick you. Karma is a real bee and I love it. Don't know. We are having a 10 year after high school reunion in 2 months. Everyone tried finding her on social media and over other friends. Nobody knows. She may be happy to have left people who treated her poorly behind her. I'm her. What's worse is that I was homeschooled. After running away from a cult. Then marrying and divorcing young. I am now in my early 30s in a loving relationship with a wonderful man. 
working an awesome job in a Fortune 500 company, no contact with my immediate family or the horrible church people who bullied me. Simple, I reassure her everything's gonna be alright cause you don't need to be popular or liked in order to have a good life, especially not in high school. I told her you're likely never gonna see them again, and I've known this girl for quite a while. I knew what it was like to be in her shoes and basically told her you're unpopular for your own good, and that's okay. Keep your crowd small. People don't like those who are different, but the way I see it, different is unique. Just because you're different than everyone else doesn't downgrade you, you're just a rose in a field of daisies. Being different is good, but owning it will make you feel a lot more better. We're currently running on 8 months in our relationship and I couldn't be happier. There's nothing I won't do to make her smile. Those first two paragraphs are straight facts. Outside of high school, nobody gives a flying crap about how cool you were in high school, the females you bagged, and other meaningless stuff. There was a pretty unpopular girl at my school. She used to cake on makeup and looked kind of like Mimi from the Drew Carey show in that respect. No real bullying. My school didn't really tolerate bullying. I caught some crap from a guy freshman year and literally everybody in the room called him out and, I dunno, bully shamed him? Anyway, I ended up going to prom with her because I wasn't intending to go and her boyfriend backed out last minute and broke up with her and she didn't want to waste the tickets. Had a decent time. We were only ever casual friends. Anyway, she became a physician's assistant and joined the army. Then after a few years she went to the Uniformed Services University for Health Sciences and got her MD. Now she is a lieutenant commander in the PHS. She's a satanist now. She's studying sound engineering. She's actually getting married on Halloween this year. I know her account. She's the sweetest girl you'll ever meet. Just look past the satanist part. I once went to a satanist site which had a page describing their beliefs and ideology. All of the beliefs being preached were surprisingly good. Oh hey that's me. I worked different jobs for quite a few years after high school and ended up marrying my middle school high school sweetheart and travel the world with him cause of his job. We are settled for now in Germany. It's so beautiful here. I taught myself makeup. No more thick black eyeliner and super pale powder for me. And I'm slowly starting my YouTube channel. So I think I turned out pretty well so far considering my beginnings. Glad to hear that. Hope things continue to go well for you. I was actually fine in high school. It was when I got to university that I got into some crap. A popular girl I went to high school with went to the same university as me. Attached herself to the group of friends I had made and then went full mean girls on me until they basically decided I was a horrible person. It was some bulls. I can't tell you that much. Now I'm mostly content with my life. I write about dongs for a living. I've got good friends and a solid D&D group. And my love life is, you know, passable. No complaints. Put it that way. The bullied girl was my best friend. She has an IQ of 154. She also has autism and is a lesbian. She's doing well. She graduated Magna CM Lord from university and lives in a great city. Wasn't bullied too much, but I was definitely the unpopular girl that was so depressed I'd skip school once a week. I moved out after I graduated, left my family behind for my so that has supported me through everything. Got a well paying job. We rent a house in a great neighborhood. Just bought a brand new car this year. We have 3 cats and no kids and I plan on keeping that way. My family, with the exception of my sisters, don't talk to me anymore but I'm doing better without them. Still have my weird high school friends too. I'm happily married, expecting my firstborn son, and I'm loving life. And my bully? Seriously dating one of my brothers. She made bomb cupcakes for my baby shower. Holy crap I'm so sorry that you have to deal with that. I couldn't imagine having to put on airs for someone who made my life suck growing up. She transitioned to he, went to school for IT, I think, and married his high school sweetheart, who was the second most bullied girl in school. They both now work and live at Disney in Florida and seem very happy. She went on to become a bullied adult. High school bullying is nothing compared to workplace bullying. It's rampant and mean girls get away with it all the time. However, she did manage two kids, a divorce, addict stepchildren and aging parents before losing her emotional health and retiring early. 
murdered by her newlywed husband who was sentenced to life in prison. Really sad because she didn't deserve to be bullied and definitely didn't deserve to die. She was a sweet girl, just socially awkward. Dang. Hope they throw the key away. Rip. I was that girl. I am autistic and I have PCOS which causes weight gain and male pattern facial hair. And these two things are largely what my bullying stemmed from. The bullying for the former started in kindergarten and the bullying for the latter started when I hit puberty. Around 10 years old. It was relentless until I graduated and became a recluse. I continue having no friends, struggle with suicidal ideation and PTSD flashbacks on certain trigger words and phrases, have no social skills and severe agoraphobia. I have panic attacks related to schools, even walking by them. I struggle with self care and the thought that I deserve anything nice, including basic health care. I have not been in a relationship for years and do not feel like I deserve one. I am not in therapy because I cannot afford it and disability refuses to cover it. I have a tumor growing in my uterus. It is exacerbated by my PCOS's hormonal imbalance and stress. I'm trying to be better and change my thinking. But it all feels so hopeless sometimes. I cannot remember a time when I was truly happy. Because every moment in my memory is marred by bullying, taunting, self-hatred, and shame for things I cannot control. It's a miserable existence. She joined the army, finished a masters, became an engineer, got a great job making wads of cash, and lives in a half a million dollar house in the suburbs with her husband and her dog. She's also aging a heck of a lot better than all of them. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.